Hello everyone. I know that it was a moment that I wasn't on YouTube and I'm a little slow getting back. I did my put my one video up and then I got the flu and I got to get back into the swing of things and I have all of these unboxings to do that are coming in. I have subscriptions that I bought during December. I have items that are sitting in Laurel Bell's lair that still need to be opened. And I thought, you know what? What would be really cool? How about we do seven days of unboxing? For seven days, I will do an unboxing every day and we'll get an opportunity to spend time with each other. Sound okay? I hope so. Let's get the video started. Now, one of the best things about YouTube is the opportunity to get to know individuals from all over the globe. One of my dearest friends that I consider family at this point is from uh, the UK. She is from England. Her name is Ange. She has two wonderfully beautiful daughters whom I consider my nieces. Uh, we met via this YouTube channel. She reached out. We exchanged uh, humorous uh, moments and then we realized that it was just so much fun chatting with each other and she was going to be visiting the US and I was, uh, I asked her where she was going to be in Florida and I said, I'm certainly willing to make a trek to see you. I would love to meet you and your family and that's exactly what we did. That visit went so well. When my hubby and I went to Scotland and England and Paris, we actually met up one for a, for a girl's day in London. And that's a story in itself for another time. But the company was so wonderful. And I always just treasure the time that we spend with each other. So we've become very close and we stay in close contact. And it's, it's just been such a great thing. In the fall of last year, I don't know if it was she or I, I think it was probably me, I was um, moaning about not having supplies from England and from Scotland. And she said, do you want me just to pick up some things for you? And I'll send them. And I'm like, oh, I would do that. I would send the money to you. I, and I also know that she and her family like certain things from the U.S. And I said, why don't you make a list of things that you would like from the U.S.? And I will send them from here and you will send those from there and it will be like Christmas. And we thought it was a great idea. And then life happened and it was a while. Well, even though we're in the new year and we're in February, we're getting it together. She sent the box to me and I am waiting for something to arrive so I can send it over to her. And I'm very excited about that. But I wanted to share the unboxing with you. This is the funniest thing because I told her the things that I wanted. So I know some of the things that are in this box, but I'm not sure I remember everything I said. And there's a couple of extra thingies in there. I have no idea really. I mean, I have some idea. There's a couple of things, but I think this would be a really fun unboxing. The box is actually pretty big. I'm going to show it to you. It's kind of heavy. I mean, not horribly heavy, but it's kind of heavy. So I'm not going to like slice it in front of the camera, um, but I am going to go ahead and get it open and then we'll dig right into it. Here we go. I am really so excited because you know how when you go visit, and it doesn't matter what country you're from, when you go visit, maybe you don't live near your family anymore. And when you go home to visit, there are things that you like to eat. There's places that you like to visit. And there's certain maybe shampoos that you like that are made in a specific area. And that's no different from the from what we found in Scotland. We found Scotland and in England. Um, we found that there were things that we really enjoyed over there that we were excited about. And that's 
really probably what's a lot in this box. So it's open. Let's take a look at what's in here. Here we go. Okay. Oh, she's actually wrapped it very well. So let me peel this apart. Oh, she made it a lovely box. What do they call it over there when it's a beautifully done box? It's called a ham. Is it a hamper? Would that be the right terminology? I think I have a cardboard hamper because it looks so it looks so pretty and lovely down in there. Thank you so much, Ange. I really appreciate you. Okay. <gasps> okay, I did forget about some of these. This is going to be a great unboxing. I am super excited. And I kind of want to wear this a little bit like this because I feel, actually I do feel like that's making me look a little sexy there. <laughs> or very early American. I don't know which. All right, let's, um, I don't even know what to do with that. All right, it is for the most part in the bag. Some of it's still here, but we can deal with that. Oh, I've got a lovely card. I'm just going to glance at it really quickly. She is such a, a very sweet and wonderful individual. Truly family. All right, let's do this. First up, I am super excited because, okay, I have to explain this. Everybody knows chips and crisps, right? We know that Lay's potato chips here are pretty much Walker crisps over there. But when we were in Scotland, we found these potato chips. We love cheddar and onion chips, or I do at least, very much. This was the best. I saw mature cheddar and I thought, oh, it's got a level of maturity in it. It's probably more mature than I am. Why don't I try it? And I thought it was absolutely incredible. I made the hubs try it. He thought it was pretty dang tasty too. And I tried. Once we went back to England, I thought I would be able to stock up on these, but they didn't sell them. Wherever we looked, we couldn't find them. So, I have two bags, and I am super, super excited. So, this is uh, made in Perthshire, Perthshire, Scotland, and they have an award-winning family business, and I believe it. Super, super tasty. If you happen to be over there, I do recommend that you get some of these. It's incredible. So she's wonder. I'm just going to kind of drop these uh, down here and I will pick them up. She's so good to me because I had not tried these and she sent me these as well. I don't know how she found them. She's got a good eye and she's got, she's in the know of what to do. I'm so appreciative of that. <gasps> Ooh, I have not seen this one at all. I'm super excited. Okay, this is Haggis, Neeps, and Taddies. I don't know. What's a Neep? I got Haggis is the, um, that's a wonderful uh, piece of, well, that's a delicacy in Scotland. And I, I have, I might be a little ashamed to say that I did try Haggis, but I only tried the vegetarian kind. I'm working my way up to trying the true Haggis. So if you've had that or if you're from Scotland and you enjoy it, please give me encouragement so I will actually try that the next time I'm over in 2020. I know what a tatty is. That's a potato, but I don't know what a neep is. Do you know what a neep is? Tell me. Put it in the comments below. Super excited. I love that this is the, um, what's that in the background? Help me. There's, this is the tartan. I wonder if this is the Mackie tartan. Yeah. And I got to say, that's really, that's a pretty tartan, by the way. Super excited. What's a neat? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. And onward into the box. Okay. <laughs> All right. Man. Yes. So what we have here 
when we stayed in in England, right out on the outskirts of London, we stayed at right like right near the airport in Gatwick, and they had an MNS food place. Actually, they had MNS food places everywhere. And the hubs and I kind of loved uh, to go in there and get a tasty piece of chocolate uh, while we were staying there. Oh, have mercy. And she, she picked out a couple of things from MNS for us to try. And this is toffee chocolate eclairs. And this is clotted cream fudge. Now I gotta tell you, I can't, I can't wait. Any, I, I'm gonna have to try this. Like, I think I need to try it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Hold, please. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so awesome. So, I happen to be a huge, huge, a huge. I happen to be a very big Cadbury fan, the UK style. You guys know I kind of talked about it after when I got that. Cadbury mini eggs, score. Cadbury caramel nibbles. I found this, these, when I first flew in, was excited, bought a bag, went to Scotland, ate the bag, came back, tried to find the bag, and couldn't find the bag. I'm super excited that she found the bag. I can't wait. Buttons. Can I tell you, buttons are incredible. There's nothing more I can say about that. Does anyone, by a show of hands, enjoy a good Cadbury cream egg? Well, Cadbury's holding out on us because over there they have, yeah, yeah, they do. They have Cadbury mini eggs. And not only do they have mini eggs, they have these things called a Cadbury twist, which has the egg in it. I just, I can't even, it's so good. I don't even know what to say. Oh, we got little Kit Kat bunnies. I haven't seen that over here. We'll see how it's different over there. Isn't that super neat? Oh, now, now we've, got, wait, I got to show you that in just a second. These are Cadbury twirl bites, Cadbury twirl bites. I don't even know what that means. It seems so wonderful. My mouth is watering. I'm going to put that down and, and. Remember, I think it was last video I talked about, I love the white chocolate. Mm -hmm. I love these white chocolate buttons so much. I'm going to have to figure out how to pace myself with this throughout 2020 and not do it all at once and go into a coma of some kind. These are mix buttons, which is how it should be all the time, all day long, because all chocolate of every kind is incredibly wonderful, and I, there's nothing more I can say about that. I just love it. Love me some chocolate. Love me some Cadbury. These are giant buttons. Who doesn't like a giant button now and then? Good. Good night. These wonderful, delicious goodnesses. Goodnesses. One more caramel nibble. And then we go back to M&S. This is cool. Milk chocolate honeycomb. <gasps> that looks really good. That looks really good. I'm going to have to hide that for myself and not share that out. <laughs> Marza Belgian chocolate marzipan balls. Marzipan. I'm trying to go through this kind of quickly and then read everything all at once. I'm so sorry if I'm taking a little bit too much time. Do you guys see my wig back there? I got it and I'm trying to be brave enough to wear it. Maybe I'll try it out on you guys before I wear it out in public. What do you think? Do you want to see it? Because I will. All right, let me put these down here right now. Wow, that was a huge score. Big score. All right, what we got next? 
into the box for the re What? I'm super excited. I'm so excited. Rhubarb and custard. Now, I have seen these on Amazon. I've been a little nervous about it because they're not exact. I mean, I think they're the same. They're just not the brand. They're not the brand from the store that was there. But I truly believe that these look like they are the same. I'm going to crack this open. If I had to pick two flavors for the rest of my life of sweetness that I could have, like they could say you could have two flavors of sweet for the rest of your life, and that's it. I would pick rhubarb, maybe key lime, or maybe white chocolate. I don't know. But any of those three things, man, you're in with me. <laughs> you're in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, looks so good. I'm going in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is them. This is them. Yes! Further into the box. What do we have here? Oh! Okay, now this is something I have not tried. This is Panatone. And I wouldn't... This is a surprise wonder how good it is. I'm thinking if she put it in here for me, it must be tasty. I also think that this is Italian in nature, right? Panettone? Yes, made in Italy. Yes. Oh, I am really super excited about this one. Mm-hmm. All right, I've got time. This is going to be for a very special occasion, and I know right what may be tomorrow, Valentine's Day. What? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's this? We have a bag. Oh, I think I do know what this is. All right. We have an Aldi's here in the U.S. And in the U.K., they have an Aldi's as well. Now, the difference, not the difference, but one of the unique things to their Aldi's is you can get this wonderful hand cream and I was so excited I took a picture and I said listen can you um like send me a lot of those because they're incredible it's my favorite hand lotion <clears throat> I think it's I, I don't know but I was thinking it was like around a pound but I she sent me four and I'm so super excited and it says cute so if you're there can you see that okay I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Lacura, Lasura, I don't know. It says skincare for you. Q10 Renew hand cream with pro vitamin B5, vitamin E, coenzyme Q10. It's anti age with UV filters. It does not feel sticky. That's what it looks like. Rubs in very well. I have very sensitive skin, so I would, like, I burn sometimes from lotions that I have tried. This does not burn. It just feels really good. It's it's really one of my favorites. The other top one would be, what is it, Aveeno? I, I use that one. It doesn't have a scent to it, or I'm, I still have the flu, so maybe that's it, but I don't think there's a scent to it. Yes! Yes, perfect. Onward into the box, the box, the box, the box. Ooh. <laughs> this is not just about any, like what does it say? This is not just any food. This is MS food. True that. Ooh. Okay, in here, same brand, Lacura, Lasura, I do not know. These are 
facial wipes. The first one is dry skin. I hope I'm not leaning so far back that I'm coming out of the picture. This box is pushing me. This box is a pusher. This is La Cura Dry Skin 3-in-1 Cleansing Facial Wipes. Here's what I like about this. It does clean, but the dry skin one is extremely moisturizing. When in Scotland, it was cooler weather. I have dry skin. The place that we stayed in a, like a in the Airbnb, the lady had these, and I tried one and went, oh, it felt so deliciously smooth and and just wonderful on my skin. I really appreciated it. So I bought a couple and brought them home, and I quickly ran out of them, which made me sad. So I have two of those. And then one for normal skin, which I would imagine like is just the regular, which will be great in the summer. It won't overwhelm. Oh, I'm so excited. Like That's the good stuff right there. All right, we're going to put that bag over there. Okay, okay. Now, like I can't be trusted with this at all. m and Scottish shortbread selection, all butter, baked in the Highlands to our own exclusive recipe. Yes, yes, please. Look at that. Help me. I've really got a problem with shortbread. Oh, maybe that would be the one thing. Eat shortbread. This is why I'm in Weight Watchers, people, because I like shortbread and chocolate and rhubarb. Help. Looks made in Scotland for the United Kingdom. It says, oh, M&S is Ireland. Ireland Limited. They're from Dublin. I didn't know that. Very cool. Thank you, Dublin. That's a pretty awesome thing. And then, oh, milk chocolate biscuits. Extremely chocolatey. That's what I'm talking about. It should be extremely chocolatey. Oh, man. Oh, man. I am in so much trouble. I have got to figure out how to make this stuff last all year. So I do well, and I do it the right way. Good grief. Oh, yeah. And that's it for the stuff that's in it. <clears throat> but there's this cool bag down there, and I'm going to take a look at it. Oh, I like this too. It says this is not just food. This is M&S. But I can use it when I go to the grocery store. Very cool. So there you have it. That's what an American girl unboxes when she gets a package from England. And I am so grateful. Honestly, Edge, thank you so very much. I'm so appreciative of you. Thank you for doing that for me. Um, it's actually kind of exciting. I feel like, you know, I feel like I've been able to, um, you know, touch things that I touched when I was over there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just wanted to throw that in the trash. That I was able to kind of touch things uh, that I touched when I was over there. And it makes me think of moments and places in time. And I'm really grateful for that because I am, I'm really missing uh, being back over there. I'm missing the scenery. I'm missing the climate. I'm missing the people. I miss you, Ange, and I miss the. Other, I don't want to call the other two gals out because um, I just well they have they haven't given me permission to do that. But my two gals, I miss you very much as well. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, everyone, until we see each other again. Bye. <laughs>